my name is Mrs. Malarkey, and I teach 7th grade math, and I also coach um, our Math Counts team. And this year, we decided as a Math Counts club that we wanted to have a pie day um, for the 6th grade students. And so our Math Counts group of students, which is about 12, um, came up with lessons for each of their core classes, reading, writing, math, science, um, and history, and presented lessons all day to the 6th grade students. Um, we ended the day with a pie day assembly um, where the students saw pictures of themselves throughout the day to a pie song and then also had a pie memorization contest. Um, and then, of course, we awarded prizes for first, second, and third place. Um, I'll just run through what each period did really quickly for you. Um, in the reading class, the students listened to various pie songs and sang some pie songs um, to the tune of ABCs, Jingle Bells, those kinds of things. And then there are several pie songs on the Internet. Um, and then after that, they created their own songs and then would sing those as a class. In the writing, or that was in the writing class, in the reading class, the students read the book Circumference and the Dragon of Pi, um, which is about a little boy named Radius who needs to figure out what pi is and how to use pi in regards to the circumference, diameter, and radius of a circle. Um, and then students ask questions about the book to them, and they have candy as rewards. Um, in the math classroom, of course, they measured circular objects in order to find that pi is a constant no matter what size that circle is. Um, in the history class, they learned about the history of pi, um, who were the different people in history who used pi and discovered pi. Um, and then they also talked about the pi, a worldwide pi contest that students can submit their memor pi memorization digits to. Um, and then finally, in the science classroom, they were split up into two groups. One group did a frequency chart where they took the first 200 digits of pi and saw that no number happened maybe more than others. It was all relatively pretty close to one another. And then the other half of the class made a pi chain um, where a 3 stood for pink and a 1 stood for blue and let's see, one 4 stood for green and whatnot. And so they created a pi chain. Um, that also would show them that there's no repeating patterns in pi and um, it's very much an irrational number. Um, overall, the day was a huge success. The students had a ton of fun. Um, like I said, it was our very first year for this and so I think we worked out a lot of kinks um, right away in the first period and they did a wonderful job. Um, in a little bit, we'll have our eighth grade contest and I know several of those students have memorized over 100 digits of pi, which is incredible. Um, and so I guess our challenge to you guys is how many digits of pi do you know? Today, our school celebrates Pi Day, and I did math, and my name is Easton Bannock, and I am in seventh grade. I'm Kylie Barton, and today we did Pi Day. I was a history teacher, and we uh, went through some of the history of pi, like who did it, who made it, and etc. The story was about um, a kid whose father turned into a dragon and so he had to find the numbers of pi to save him. I think it was really fun what we did because we sang lots of cool songs and we did a rap um, for pi and it was pretty cool. And then we did a sort of love song and then a short one. And then we made a PowerPoint, and that was fun, too. I think the kids liked it, because they all had smiling faces when they left. Hi, okay. my name is Otto okay. Brazil. Um, I taught in the science room for Pi Day, and we divided the classroom up in two groups. And the first group was with me. We made a frequency chart of the first 200 uh, decimal numbers in pi, and then the other group with Damien did a pi chain. Today I was helping in the history room and we asked the kids what they knew about pi and then taught them about some of the history, had them take a quiz, and whoever won got some candy rewards. And then we also showed some videos about um, how people celebrate pi day and different people who have memorized lots of pi. Um, my name is Marbella. Um, 
Pi is 3.141526. I'm Jenny Howell, the principal at Nebraska City Middle School, and we were very proud to sponsor the first annual Pi Day in Nebraska City Middle School. Our students participated in a variety of activities all day, and it was mainly sponsored by our Math Counts teacher, um, Mrs. Malarkey, and the Kids of Math Counts Club, and they, they um, presented to different classrooms day and had different contests. So the kids enjoyed it. They had a blast. And um, it was just a wonderful day. We're very happy with it.